The Pokemon Horizons anime just dropped a huge bombshell, and that's in the form of four new episode titles. You heard me right, four, that's a crazy amount in one day. And dude, when I tell you they're incredibly hype episodes, I'm really not kidding. So be sure to hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button if you enjoy hearing my thoughts, and check out the original source of the titles in the link below in the description. And now let's dive into them all. Pokemon Horizons episode seven, airing on May the 19th, is officially titled Special Training with Captain Pikachu. And the episode description is as follows. As the rising Volt Tackler's journey continues through the skies, Zaliko and Roy decide to train under Captain Pikachu in order to get better at Pokemon battling. Neither Sprigatito nor Fuecoco are even remotely a match for the overwhelming strength of Captain Pikachu, but the training does make Liko realize something. Personally, I absolutely love training episodes, you know the kind of stories where the trainer and the Pokemon battle and train to become stronger and to learn new moves and new strategies. Those episodes are always my favorites because they're such a fantastic way to naturally show the growth of the characters, and such an exciting way to show how hard they're working to become stronger. Episodes in previous seasons that are similar to this one, like the one in the Duford Town arc and the one with Buizel and Mr. Mime, they've been some of my favorite episodes of the entire show, dude. So yeah, seeing Liko and Roy taking their training seriously already is so exciting and so promising and I can't wait for the episode. Plus a whole episode set on the airship and focused around Captain Pikachu sounds really unique and really fun, man. Then Pokemon Horizon Horizons episode 8 airing on May the 26th is officially titled The Mysterious Door That Won't Open and there's no episode description yet. So when I first read this episode title, I immediately thought that it could be about the special shrine gate door things in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. You know, the mysterious gates around Paldea that contain the treasures of Ruin legendary Pokemon, those gates that don't open unless you find all the stakes hidden around Paldea. So yeah, I thought the episode could be about Liko and Roy finding one of those mysterious gates in Paldea, but then I found out this episode apparently doesn't take place in Paldea. Apparently it's more likely to take place on the airship. So now I've come up with the idea that maybe the mysterious door that won't open is a door inside the airship. And do you guys remember the theory that Ludlow is secretly Nido thing in disguise? Well, if that theory is true, then what if the mysterious door that won't open in the episode title? What if that mysterious door that doesn't open is inside the airship? And maybe the door could lead into the room where Ludlow becomes Nido thing and does all of his streaming and makes his videos. If the mysterious door leads into the room where Nido thing does all their recordings, then it'd make a lot of sense that Ludlow would keep the door locked and unopened so people can't enter and so people can't find out his true identity. So yeah, I have a crazy theory that that could be what the title is referring to. The mysterious door won't open because it leads into Nido Thing's room. I definitely could be wrong though, let's be honest. Then Pokemon Horizons episode 9 airing on June the 2nd is officially titled Arrival in the Paldea region. And that's so hype dude, we're finally going to Paldea, we're just a few weeks away. I'm guessing this episode will mainly just be an introduction to Paldea with the rising vault arriving there and seeing some new Pokemon, and maybe we could go to Liko's house and meet her family and see her household in the episode, that'd be awesome, man. Since we've now seen where Roy comes from, his hometown, his family, I really hope we get to see that for Liko now as well, because her family seems really, really interesting. You know, from her grandmother's pendant to her mother paying for bodyguards for her, that could be some good stuff there, you know? I'm excited for it, man. Then, Pokemon Horizons episode 10, the big one, airing on June the 9th, is officially titled Nimona. Brassius and then. You heard me right, ladies and gentlemen, it's actually happening. We're actually getting Scarlet and Violet game characters in Pokemon Horizons. There's been a big debate in the community on whether it will happen or not since the anime is so original in every other way, but I had a really good feeling that we'd be seeing characters like Nimona and the gym leaders popping up, so I'm so happy they are. They're such important characters and it'd be really weird and empty without them in this series, you know? So yeah, Liko and Roy are gonna meet Nimona, the main rival in Scarlet and Violet, and Liko and Roy are gonna meet Brassius, a gym leader in Scarlet and Violet, a lot of people really love these characters, so it's mad exciting, dude. I have a feeling the episode will be about Liko and Roy watching a gym battle between Nimona and Brassius. That'd be the perfect way to introduce the concept of gym battles to Liko and Roy. Let them watch one between such powerful trainers. It could make Liko and Roy interested in gym battles themselves, and it'd make them admire Nimona. I feel like that kind of storyline would be a win-win in every way. I really can't wait to see the contrasts between Nimona's and Liko's and Roy's and Brassius's personality 
personalities. They're all so different and it'll be so entertaining, man. I bet Nimona and Roy are gonna have the greatest energy in the world. They're both super upbeat and energetic. I can't wait to see them, dude. And also, Brassius is a grass-type gym leader who mastered terrestrialization. So maybe if we're lucky, Brassius could help Liko with terrestrializing Sprigatito. Who knows? But that'd be really cool, man. All I know is that this is so exciting and I'm so happy that it opens the door for all of my favorite Scarlet and Violet characters to appear in the future too. Like Arvin, Larry, Katie, Iono, Rhyme, Rika. So yeah, those were the four new episode titles. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about the episodes. Which one are you most excited for out of the four? And do you have any theories on the mysterious door? And also, what Scarlet and Violet characters do you want to see in the future? Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed hearing my rundown of the episode titles. I would really, really, really appreciate it. And then be sure to follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and join our Discord server using the links in the video description. I think that's gotta be everything, so thank you all so much for watching, and best wishes until we meet again!